I've got needs in lowly places where the da da. <laughs> okay, Joel. You're still not funny. You're still not funny. Okay, we're talking about needs. We're talking about my biggest need. It's not my biggest need, but one of the things about filming on the floor is <laughs> I'm right next to these outlets and I'm always trying to cover it up. But then I'm like, I want to be center, but then it's always like, eh, 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 eh. Focus, focus, focus. I'm Joel Carlesi, the super brave teacher. And today, we're talking about something very simple, but very important, and that is my, and I'm guessing yours, biggest need. My biggest need is to be seen. My biggest need is to be seen. And I struggle with that. <laughs> if you know me, you know I struggle. I struggle with that because I am still working on being fully known. I am still working on showing up and expressing what I need and expressing who I fully am. So, so I struggle with that because I, being a teacher and being a very mathematical brain, want to just figure it out. I want to figure out the best way to see people and to know them and to value them. And I want to figure out the best way for me to be seen and to be known today, which is admirable, but it's a process. And it's a process of really being seen and known. Something we do every week in our classroom is we do these listening conferences and we just every week call the kids to a table or we sit by them and we just say, tell me about you. Tell me what's new about you. Tell me what's new in your life. Tell me what's exciting. Tell me what's sad. Tell me what's scaring you. And we just let kids talk. And something I love, love, love about teaching kindergarten is very often, very, very often, they are unfiltered. They're like, you want to know what's new with me? Let me give you a list. You want to know what's hard in my life? Let me give you a list. You want to know what the SHIT sandwich is? Let me give you the list in a very five-year-old way. But I admire them because of their unfilteredness and their ability to show up and be like, I want this, I need this, this is hard for me, get out of my way, all of that stuff. And I think that as teachers, as a teacher, I can't say for you, as a teacher, I want to get better and better at seeing my students, seeing my families, seeing my community, seeing those around me, and being, ex being an example of someone who is willing to be seen. Someone who is willing to show up as his full self. And I think that's a big reason that I created this channel because I was afraid of being seen, especially as a gay teacher. It was like, I will show you every other part of my life, myself, but not me being gay. And it's fun to just live my advocacy work through just showing up and being seen. Being seen as all of myself. And it's fun to show students and families and our community and my family that they can show up as they are and I can hold it and I can still love them and accept them and value them and see them. So I don't want this to be a long video. I don't need a video ranting about the, the last mass shooting or anything like that because I'm not an expert on gun laws. I'm not an expert on any of that stuff. But I do know that it can never hurt to see someone. It can never hurt to value someone and to know them on a deep level. It can never hurt to talk to anybody and say, what's new with you? What's beautiful these days? What's hard these days? Do you know you're not alone? Do you know how lonely it feels? I hear that. But you are not alone, and I see you. So I'm gonna keep it at that, and I'm gonna encourage you if you're a teacher, a student, or anything in between, keep seeing yourself. And as you do, you will see and value others 
and you will realize that you are not alone and you never have been and you never will be. And they will realize that they are not alone and they, are, they never have been and they never will be. It's pretty awesome. So friends, I see you. I value you. I see that need. And I see my need. And I am so grateful that we are here for each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a beautiful day. You are enough. You are enough. I am too. Bye, friends. Someone carved you out of ivory with some porcelain or brass. Then they looked upon your face and they knew they'd done their task. So they tore their tools to pieces, laid them underneath.